Hi, my name is Daniela. I am a red fox squirrel from California. I am about three years old and yes, I'm going to have some squirrel babies very soon. Unfortunately, I was in an accident and I hurt my head and my eye. So it's a little bit difficult for me to fend for myself. So I hang around this house a lot. It feels safe here. The people that live here are nice. They respect me. They leave me alone. And I love their trees and garden. They have an orange tree, a plum tree, some blackberries, some lettuce, just perfect. The best thing of all, their palm tree. And I sleep in it all the time. Especially after a long day when I've had some issues with my head, I go up there and rest. Well, soon it's time for me to have these babies. And that's going to take up a lot of my time, about three months. So I'm looking forward to that palm tree. Time to go and have my babies. Three months later, I crawled down the palm tree by myself. And my name is Daniel. I'm Daniela's son. Yeah, I know, I'm cute. I'm very cute. And I am a little bit too friendly. I am wild, so don't try to reach out and grab me. That's not a good idea. My instincts are to run away, to defend myself. But if you are friendly and you prove to me that I can trust you, I do enjoy hanging out with you. And I enjoy a treat here and there, including eating your delicious plums in your garden. Young squirrels like myself are very playful. We play, we play, and then we sleep. We sleep a lot. We rest in the trees. We spread out our tummies on the cool tree trunks to cool off during the hot summer days. When we hear voices and people, we are curious. We do want to find out what's going on. And in my case, I actually kind of want to get to know the people a little bit. This garden is good for me. It's a safe place. And I do have two ginormous palm trees. And I like to sleep up there. Now I did have a sister, but she decided to move to a different neighborhood. And my mom is no longer around. I mean, come on, I'm, I'm old enough to take care of myself. We usually do leave our nest when we are around three months old. And we learn and we play. Sometimes we do hang out with our siblings for a while, but my sister, she was very stubborn and she knew, she knew she wanted to move about three blocks away. I know I'm very handsome. I'm actually very clean. Squirrels do clean themselves many, many, many times every day. In some states, we are allowed to be pets. I don't recommend that. We are not good pets. We belong in nature where we can explore, have fun, and learn how to interact with other wild animals. This town is full of hawks, so I have to be careful. Hawks, they are my natural predators. So I'm on the lookout and I'm careful. I like to climb trees and I am very playful. 
more playful than you think. Well, I'm lazy too. You're right. And curious. And more curious. Now I wonder what I could do today in this garden. Something new to check out? Something I can play with? What's that over there? Well, that's a glass. I better be careful with that glass. Hmm, a walnut, computer, an iPad. Someone's been working in the garden here. What's that over there? I think I see a red string. Let's play with that red string. I, I, I see something hanging at the very end of the string. It's like a round ball. I want it. I want it now. I'm going to bring that up to my nest in my palm tree. Well, this is fun. I like wrestling. And nope, I am not leaving until I get it. I am not leaving, I'm not leaving. I am stubborn and I know when I want something. I fight for it until I get it. Come on. I'm a young squirrel. What do you expect? Oh, I got it. I'm so proud of myself. I'm gonna take it up onto the roof and hide it. Make sure no one else takes my little treat, my treasure, whatever it is. Maybe it's a rock. Well, I, I am nice, but one day I, I had a fight with some other squirrels and I did injure my eye and that happens and I'm maturing so it's actually time for me to kind of check out the neighborhood so so long for this time I hope to be back and visit you soon but uh, time for me to leave this beautiful secret garden bye so long Daniel.